Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. I'm very sorry about today's video. It is late. I do know that it's currently 10 p.m. when I'm filming this. So we're behind schedule today, but that's because I lost my passport. So I had to go and sit in a police station for three hours to report it as lost before I could order a new one. And then after that, we had to go and sit in another police station for three hours so Cindy could get her NIE card because she also lost her NIE card. So we both got important things done today, which meant we had no time for filming. So I'm very, very sorry. Today's video, also, I need my new passport as soon as possible and Cindy needed that NIE as soon as possible because we are going on a little trip, which I'm super excited to tell you, tell you guys about, but we'll do that in another video. Right, today's video, I am carbon up currently right now. So tomorrow I'm gonna to do a full day of eating and it's gonna be how to carb load, how to carb load for a marathon. I'm currently three days out. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest. And I'm just gonna kind of talk to you guys as if I was talking to Cindy or one of my friends and just kind of talk you through my thoughts and feelings leading up to the marathon. I'm super excited to go to Barcelona. Cindy's coming with me to support me. And uh, yeah, let's just talk through this. So first question, most important question is I have no idea which shoe to run in. We've got the ASICs, I don't know what the actual name of these is, Nimbus, something or others. <laughs> um, ASIC Nova Blast. Definitely not running in those. It's between these two shoes. Nike Alpha Fly, this is an old pair. Um, they actually don't have too many miles on them because I prefer to just run nice easy miles and this is a race shoe. This has got a carbon plate in it. So this will propel me and make me go a lot faster. But I just don't know if I definitely want to run really fast in Barcelona on Saturday. I'm tempted between a four hour marathon or a four hour 30 marathon. I think I'm gonna go for four hours 30 because that means I get to enjoy it more and just kind of, it's gonna be my first ever marathon. The next is my on cloud eclipse i think that's the name of it um cloud tech phase i don't know i think it's cloud eclipse how the fuck do i not know the name of any of my shoes i guess it doesn't really matter but it's between these two so guys let me know what you think in the comments if i was going for a four hour marathon it would be these race shoe if i'm going for a nice easy four and a half hour marathon who knows if it's going to be easy maybe i'll fail i would go for these so yeah, these are definitely the Cloud Tech Eclipse, I believe. So help me decide, guys, in the comments. Next, I'm currently fueling up on electrolytes consistently throughout the day. I've also got salt tablets, so I'm going to put a few of these in my belt when I'm running because it's a bit difficult to carry a tub of this on my marathon. So, um, yeah, electrolytes twice, three times a day, currently for the next three days leading up to the marathon, so I'm nice and hydrated. I'm drinking a pint of water almost every hour to also stay hydrated. Honestly, I haven't booked anything, but I, I haven't booked my train to Barcelona. We're literally going tomorrow. I haven't booked the hotel in Barcelona. We're literally going tomorrow. So I need to get organized. Today has been chaotic. I got myself a nice new hat, A6 running hat, because I love the Milan, Melon Europe ones, but it's just a little bit heavy for the marathon. This is super lightweight and nice and breathable. This is breathable too, but just a little bit heavier. So I've got a nice lightweight A6 cap. The watch I'll be wearing, unfortunately, is the Apple watch. I much prefer my Garmin, but I lost it one time in a fair. The headphones I'll be wearing, LG Tone Free. They're good for sport. They just kind of like, you put them in and rotate them and they just stay in your ear. Good battery life and nice and light once again. This is the running belt that I have, which is from Decathlon. I picked this up yesterday. It's a size four. It is quite tight, it's quite snug, but I'm gonna be able to put my phone in there when I don't wanna hold my phone. I'm probably gonna predominantly hold my phone in my hand because I wanna video little clips here and there. And then I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to fit six gels in the pockets around here. Um, it's hard to know about the gels. I really don't know about the gels. The gels that we have are these. I Googled, I researched on YouTube the best gels. Of course, these are the most expensive ones. They're by Morton. These are the Gel 100. The reason these are good and the reason these are expensive is because it's a very specific type of gel. It's a hydro gel, so it's super easy to digest. 
doesn't fuck up your stomach. A lot of other gels really fuck up your stomach, especially if you're doing six or seven of them throughout a marathon. And these are, well, have been proven. I've literally watched all the YouTube videos, all the reviews, and these don't fuck up your stomach. So that's gonna be a game changer because the last thing I wanna do is be running to the toilet to poop my guts out on my marathon. So I'm thinking around six of them. I also got another gel from Decathlon. I used these before my half marathon. 22, 22 sixes, high energy gel. This has got 160 milligrams of caffeine. The Morton gels have zero caffeine. Caffeine is definitely something that will give you a little boost when you are feeling low on energy, definitely in a marathon. And again, you don't wanna to consume too much caffeine throughout your marathon because then you're gonna pump your heart rate up, which would be just detrimental, I would say. So we've got one gel, which is 50 grams of carbs, 160 milligrams of caffeine, if I need that one. It's my last resort. Finally, well not finally, I'm gonna talk about them in a minute. I've got these Nike Spark running socks. They are just nice and lightweight, hopefully no blisters. I know I won't get blisters if I wear these. For bottoms, I tried to get these. You've probably seen them before on a lot of runners. They're like Nike ribbed shorts, compression shorts. Unfortunately, they didn't have the shorts, so I did get the longer tights. I absolutely love the look of these. I think they're absolutely sick like literally such a vibe. They're super lightweight, they're super comfy. Again, I haven't worn them before. I tried them on, obviously, but I haven't worn them for a run. So if I get any chafe or anything like that, I am a little bit concerned. So what I'm gonna do is maybe bring a little bag, give it to Cindy with shorts, socks, and another pair of shoes in, in case, absolute worst case scenario, I need to change. But these look really nice, I really like these. The one thing that we're missing is a vest. Now, the race starts at half eight in the morning, so it is gonna be cold, a little bit chilly at that time in the morning in Barcelona, but I would like a nice lightweight vest. Problem is, whatever I'm gonna wear, it's gonna get absolutely soaking wet, and it will probably start chafing my nipples a little bit. Ideally, I would like to run wearing no T-shirt, but I don't know if that's allowed. You guys tell me, marathon runners, can I wear no T-shirt? and put my bib on the side of my leg, or on, my, on the back, on my ass. Let me know guys, because I, I don't really know about that. And again, I'm not sure if you are allowed to wear headphones. I probably won't wear them for the first, if I can, 20 kilometers, then I'll stick them in for a little boost halfway through. But yeah, that's today's video. Super excited, we've got some very good life updates. Again, this YouTube grind is unbelievably hard. Me and Cindy have had a crazy day, and once you get behind, if you haven't filmed the video, you have to come home, and there's a lot of pressure just to film it, and I'm gonna have to edit it, have to go to the gym. I'm taking Cindy to the gym. I'm not actually training myself. Need to cook, need to eat, need to get my carbs in, need to stay hydrated. There's a lot going on. Need to book Barcelona. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. I'd like to say thank you so much to everyone who left a comment on my last video on my transformation. The feedback has been absolutely amazing and I really, really appreciate all the love. It means the world to me. I'm literally, haven't started replying to comments yet because I haven't had time, but I'm literally blown away by all the nice comments. Literally means the world to me. Oh, and one final thing. Remember I said I had very bad congestion for like two months. I've worked that out thanks to a couple of comments on YouTube. I think, well, I used to be allergic to dairy and since leaving Ibiza, I've been consuming a lot of dairy. Have I, have I talked about this already? Anyway, I think my sinuses is caused by dairy. So we're trying to cut out dairy where possible. Anyway, guys, tomorrow's video, I'm gonna do a full day of eating, carb loading. So <laughs> it's a lot of carbs. Apparently you should be eating around 10 grams of carbs per kilogram of body weight. And I'm 79 kilograms. So that's a lot of carbs. <laughs> I'll be feeling like shit tomorrow. But um, yeah. Leave a comment, let me know what shoes I should wear. Let me know if I can wear headphones. Let me know if I can put my bib on my shorts and run without a t-shirt, that would be my preference. Marathon runners, wish me luck. And yeah, I'm I think I'm gonna go for a four hour 30 marathon. I would just like to complete it. I haven't done any training and I think four hours is a bit of a push. So thanks for watching guys. Hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys tomorrow.